Hello, Capricorn. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support, and I'll send it right back to you guys. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. This reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for Capricorn at this time? What messages do you have for Capricorn at this time? Please and thank you. Messages to serve their higher purpose. Please and thank you. Too many. You guys are energetically connected to someone and you're still energetically connected to that person in this present moment. There is a, a particular situation. Things will be recovered between two of you. So this is a reconciliation reading. There is a type of connection that's bouncing back because there's someone that I I don't... I don't know like what particular way, but this person brought some sort, it was like harmony and peace between the two of you in the past, whether it was recent past or there has been like some time apart. But I'm getting like, you fell at peace with this person, but they definitely feel like you brought a lot of peace and harmony into their life. Like if you help them to see things in a different perspective here, from a different perspective, um, it's like your energy for this person was very healing. It brought them a peace of mind. You helped to bring clarity into their life. But there's still like strings attached here. Like you guys are still attached to this person. I don't care like being at a distance or not. You're still energetically connected to this person. They're saying... Okay, so I'm, I'm, one message I'm getting is your finances are looking good. Whatever you're working towards is going to pay off for you significantly here. But also there's a good connection here for you guys coming in very shortly, whether it's this person or someone new. Let's dive a little further into this. So the current energy is the emperor. Something like this person is currently in the process of thinking like beyond the present situation, like what the two of you can truly like collaborate and establish in like your lives together. Again, you guys, you know what? Because your challenge is the King of Wands, both of these people, so one person, because I'm getting both of these people, that's why in the previous spread, it felt like two energies popping up. You guys could have someone new coming towards you. And I think like y'all have constantly had like two energies, whether you met this other person or not. Because the challenge here is you have one person, the emperor here. So the full package, this person has it going on. But then there's someone else that you are physically attracted to. And they're also trying to like map out a plan to come towards you. They could also be getting like advice from someone that they're close to. They could be getting like tarot readings on you as well to help them figure out how to come towards you, how to approach you. But there's someone here that's about to present like an offer to you. Like the thing is, is that like whoever this King of Wands energy is. So the Emperor, they're thinking beyond. Like they're thinking like on a. They're thinking like the stars and the sky. Like they're thinking beyond. Now the King of Wands, they're just thinking like 
planet Earth. Like this is what I'm getting. So, like the the emperor the emperor here, they're thinking like they're mapping out the universe. Where the King of Wands, they're mapping out planet Earth. So there's limitations here with this King of Wands. They only think so far. But this emperor, they see like things beyond. Like they're very intuitive. It's, it's like they don't need advice from anyone. They give advice. But then this King of Wands here, they're good looking. They're attractive. They are planning on taking action towards you, but they constantly need someone to help guide them, to tell them what to do. And this emperor doesn't. That's why they're the full package. Like when they know what they want, they know what they want. They may not be the most romantic. That's the thing. The King of Wands can ro romance you better than the emperor can, but really they can't. Because you can depend on what this emperor is bringing to you, but you can't depend on what this king of wands is bringing to you. It, it's, it can only go so far because they only thought it out so far. Whereas this emperor, they thought it out in every different angle, every different way. Too many. Ooh, no, I'm so tired of these cars. I'm not even taking that. They both look like they're about the same age, too. One may be slightly younger. Even if one is older, they look just as young as the other person. You're no longer clinging on to uh, something here. You used to cling on to something, but you're no longer clinging on to it. You're allowing it to, you know, end. You're allowing what just isn't working to end. In the recent past, you have the Ace of Cups here. So there was a lot of love that you had. I'm getting this like, took you for, it was like some sort of like whirlwind here, whirlwind romance, but it just didn't last long. What's your focus on is justice. You want someone to make things right with you but what's coming towards you is the Ace of Wands, a passionate new beginning. It's going to take you by surprise. You have two cards coming out for your advice. The reason for the reading is the Queen of Cups. You have so much love to offer, but you're being advised. If you don't realize like how much love you have to offer, then you're being advised. So first of all, realize it and to be conscious of who you share your love with. Now, some of you guys are already in this energy where you realize you have a lot of love to offer and you're being conscious of who you share your love with. What you don't realize is the reason why someone has been withholding communication from you. Like there could have been um, a slight separation between you and someone here. I'm not getting that this is someone that you haven't been, you haven't talked to in a while. I'm getting this is like at the max four months for some of you guys, but this person has needed to go through some sort of healing here. They felt the need to protect their energy from you as well. There could have been like some gossip going around and they just felt like it was too chaotic for them to get involved in this situation at the like moment because they were already going through something. So they needed to figure things out. Ooh. Okay, the best case scenario is the hermit. And the worst case scenario is strength. So you come out stronger. The best case scenario is you withdrawing your energy and taking time out for yourself to do some self-reflection. With the strength popping up as the worst case scenario, this situation makes you stronger. And someone realized that it wasn't better off without you after all. Their advice is the five of pentacles and the sun. They're saying 
like their advice is don't choose the person who left you out in the cold. Don't choose someone who didn't care like what happened to you. I don't care if like when they come towards you and they're like, you know, I didn't know you needed help. I didn't know you, you needed. It's like, well, if you had asked, if you had, you know, took the initiative to check on me, then you would have known that I needed some sort of support. So they're saying, don't go for that person because there's someone that's gonna make their feelings towards you very clear. And this person is gonna make you very happy because some of y'all were single parents and you struggled on your own. It's like you were struggling financially. Some of y'all may have been looking for a place to stay. You didn't have anyone to rely on. You guys really went through some sort of difficult period. But it's like, all that is changing because you're coming into a place of abundance where you're gonna be really happy, surrounded by a lot of happiness, a lot of love and support. But whoever is coming towards you, because you have someone coming towards you that left you out in the cold. And then you have someone that's bringing a lot of love and light into your life. That's gonna make you very happy and they're gonna make their feelings towards you very clear. They're telling you to choose that person. That's why two cars came out because you had, like with these two options that's coming towards you, they're telling you make the right choice. Cause it's gonna be very clear who the right person is, but you're still gonna be tempted with this person that left you out in the cold. So that's why like the best case scenario is that you withdraw your energy from this situation. You remain unbothered by this person and you come out stronger. Like the worst case scenario is you're on your own, but you, you are strong. You come out stronger. And that's just with that person. That's with this King of Wands energy, but this Emperor energy popping up in the current situation. So this is someone that you could have recently met or you're about to meet. Pisces energies has been popping out. We got two popping out in current. Number 12, 42, 44, 54, and 5. The sun is popping out again. Leo, you have Pisces as well popping out here. Okay, so there is a connection coming in for you guys. I'm seeing like you balancing things out because sustainability with your home here. So you guys creating a life, it's like, I'm seeing you being mindful and very like conscious of like your spending habits, but also building something for yourself. Because I'm, some of y'all are going to get to a place where you're able to purchase a home like some of y'all like the people in your family, like no one is a homeowner. Like out of your siblings and like your immediate family, some of y'all would be the first person to be able to afford a house, to sustain um, a nice life for yourself. But there is going to be tension between you and someone here. possibly a Leo, because I'm seeing someone coming towards you and this person, they're wanting to argue with you and like cause all this ruckus here. You guys are overcoming um, like this situation or this 
energy where you are like sensitive about every little thing. Like you'll, you were easily triggered. That's why I'm getting. But now that's why it's like with that hermit energy popping up, it's like that time that you spent taking like some sort of self introspection here or being able to um, reflect do some self-reflection here. It helped you to overcome where it's like things don't bother you like they used to. You're able to see things for what they are. So it's like, it's leading you, it's preparing you for this moment where this person is trying to come back and create all this tension, this nonsense in your life. And really what it is, they're not happy with the way things are going in their own life. And they're upset that you're able to like provide yourself this sustainable life. And you're balancing things out in your life without them. And yet they haven't been able to get themselves back together since the two of you separated. It's like since you got separated, they haven't been able to achieve shit in their life. And they're seeing you. Like ever since you separated your energy from them, things have been working out in your favor, back to back to back to back. And so it's pissing them off because they're realizing they are the problem. It wasn't you. You definitely have communication coming your way. Gemini popping out as well. Okay, I'm going to get an oracle message here. I try to allow you guys to take this message as it just resonates to you guys. But if I get messages throughout reading this off for you guys, then I will let you know. But I try to leave it as it is what it is type of. But I do love. Um, I do love these messages. I know some people don't care for it, but I always get a good um, message from it. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Lovers is the overall energy. You definitely have true love coming in for you. That's why someone else is upset here because you're walking away and headed towards something much better. With 57, new approach. So someone is figuring out ways to approach you differently because something didn't work out. But you guys are also taking a new approach as well. Strive for clarity. The way you are looking at things is being, is being lovingly challenged. The doors that keep closing around you are doing so because you need a new approach. Today, ask your angels for clarity and reflect on how to get what you want in a different way. Okay, you guys, lovers, yes, it's love. It drives you forward and pulls you back to your heart. It makes the mind mad with misunderstandings and breaks it open into enlightened compassion. It is love. Your yearning heart shall have it. Your destiny is to be the lover of the beloved. This oracle brings a message of love, love, love. It is finding you now. Be open to it in all its forms. Be the god and goddess of love and paint the town red. Play and passionate, play and passionate embrace with life as your lover and prepare to receive even more than what you believe you are capable of handling. Love is a magic word that holds the universe together. It is both an emotion and something, uh, you know what, ephemeral that lives like a fire's glow or the pink light on the clouds after the sun has set. It is alive and yet indefinable. It causes the heart to beat more rapidly, feelings to show, and young people to write, sing, dance, and become totally immersed in its hold. Love can beckon Cow Cowley 
or flaunt itself with wanton abandon. Love can live and grow seemingly forever or vanish in a fleeting moment when we least suspect. And in the twilight of our years, reflecting on the life we have lived, it is love which colors every turn and twist of our memory. And when we pass from the earthly plane, it will be love that will light our soul on a journey home. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope this message helps bring you guys the clarity that you need. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate your love and support. And I send it right back to you guys. With that being said, you all take care.